Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the video. I'm glad you're checking it out. Now, if you do like it, please consider giving me a thumbs up and maybe subscribing. Uh, that's the best way to support this channel. And when I say support, I mean like moral support because that's all I really get. <laughs> I'm not monetized or anything and I'm not endorsed by anybody. So a little goes a long way. So anyways, before we get into the um, project in this video, I just want to let you know that at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about two things, the upcoming projects and the release of the next video. So the reason why I'm going to go and talk about the upcoming projects is because some things I've never done before and I'm hoping that you guys may have done it or know of a link to another video or know somebody that's done it and have some advice you can give me in a comment and um, I would appreciate that. I'm going to try to figure it out myself and do research and everything but Maybe you guys know something and gives you an opportunity to do it, to let me know before I actually do it and you just see me do it in a video, probably wrong or something. So anyways, I would appreciate that. And if you stick around, um, maybe you can help me out. So anyways, let's get into the project. All right, so this is the next task I'm gonna work on. I'm gonna try to get these done, this done today or started at least. Uh, I wanna remove all of this. These are the raw water intake valves and piping. Uh, for the engines. It's the starboard one and I've got the port one over here. And um, the reason why I want to remove all this is uh, the plywood here, one of the reasons, the plywood here is all delaminating. Um, on this one especially, the other one's not too bad. And this sealant that's all around it is not even attached. And I've never had this boat in the water so I don't know what leaks and what doesn't leak, but if it's not attached here, I'm not confident that it's, it's attached fully underneath that board. So I think I'm going to remove all this stuff and just start from scratch and get new valves and everything. So I'm going to be trying to work on this, getting this off, and then up underneath there's a strainer I have to take off. That's what these screws are here. Um, these screws are actually kind of loose and the strainers aren't even up against the hole, I don't think. Uh, I haven't looked at them lately, but that's what I remember last time I looked there a couple of years ago. Um, so anyways, I'm going to be struggling with this. Um, actually, it would be nice if the ceiling wasn't stuck, so it would be easier to take off. But we'll find out, and um, that's what I'm going to do. Then I can actually clean all up in here and get it all sanded and, and prepped up for fiberglassing or whatever else I'm going to do up here. So my game plan and uh, I'm gonna get started on it. I'm gonna start over here by removing this piece of pipe extension here because I, I want to take this all off as one unit and uh, this is gonna hit on this eventually. I think there's enough room to spin the actual elbow. So let's see how this goes. Got to turn on the camera. <laughs> I got this broken free. I was gonna try to do the entire valve. The valve is gonna be difficult to get off. So we'll just get it down in pieces. I have a feeling this is not gonna come off easy. blaster or something. So the good thing about taking this off here is I can get right down in on the actual top of the through hole extension right to the threads. So they have like a grounding wire attaching the two together. Yeah. <laughs> the whole thing's spinning around. This one. Mm 
So I kind of just snap this wire off here. I'll have the camera off for a second. And um, you can see this thing just spins around. There's no way that thing is sealed. <laughs> so I'm glad I'm doing all this. Uh, but we're gonna put a little more of this on here. So we're on our way over to the underside, over on the starboard side to check out the strainer. And crawl under here. So here's the strainer, starboard side. And there's, a, there's all kinds of joke coat um, spidering all around this thing. There's a lot of this all over the whole bottom of the boat. But some areas are worse than others. This area is pretty bad around this thing. It's usually around fittings and things that it's the worst. But anyways, this is um, where it's attached. There's one screw. Here's the back screw back here. And you can see that this thing has, you can see the PV blaster. I squirted in there. It's coming out. Um, but you can see how much any foul they put on here. I'm surprised they were getting any kind of flow of water in this thing. But anyways, other than that, so once I get these screws out, and this one's the one that's spinning here, um, I don't have to see how easy it is for this thing to be pried off of there. I don't know how that's on there. But anyways, we'll be working on that from out here as well as up at the top. Use a hammer here, but here's the screw that I was banging on on the top, so that's fairly easy to come out. And um, here's the other one. Yeah, no need to no need to worry. Uh, I'm not ruining any of my nice chisels here. For one, I don't have any nice chisels, and um, these are ones that I used to. Basically, do my destruction. It's actually a screw. Anti foul on this thing. I can't even. Almost looks like there's something in the corners. All right, so there appears to be screws in the corner here. I don't know if it's focusing or not. But that's going to take a while to chisel those out. Looks like it's on all four corners, maybe. And um, try to get those out and see what happens. Um, but I'll come back when I make some progress. Just chiseled around to kind of expose the screws. There's four of them here, or what I can see. And um, I have a feeling this is not going to go plan <laughs> so i don't know how much i'll get done with this today but i think now i'm just gonna um use my drill in this wire wheel and try to clean this out a little bit okay so i managed to get these two out on this side it was not easy <laughs> That's the screw we're talking about here. Anyways, what I'm having to do is actually hit the edge 
of the screw and actually try to turn it. With the screwdriver, I'm basically hitting the side of the thread, uh, the uh, slot. I just had that one turning. Once I get it going, it looks like I can. Right. Yeah, there we got that one going. So I'll leave that one in and work on this one. Get that one to go. Let's see if we can get that one. Ah, oh, yes. There we go. Whoa, that was not fun. But glad I figured it out. And hopefully, if we had the same issue on the other side, I know what to do. I'm sure we will, or it'll probably be worse. <laughs> the way this bow works. Ah, oh, that's such a relief. <laughs> the holes are all blocked up. Oh my god. Alright, well, that's that. And there's this other one. This has all kinds of stuff on it, but it's not as bad, so it's a it's like a dual strainer. You can see how bad the gel coat just screwed up under here. So, there's a lot of work to do under here. Get this in good shape. Okay, well, I don't know how I managed it, but um, I actually got these three screws. I already took that one out. Um, but I got these screws started. I went around Sorry for the crease. I went around the whole thing just with this putty knife or whatever, scraper, putty knife I'd say, and with a hammer and just kind of cleaned out all the edge here. And then I pried it out. And then I actually gave it a couple of whacks with a hammer right on this flange to try to push the flange away from the screw and kind of separate it and that seemed to work so got three screws I don't, I don't think there's a screw here might be a pin or something I don't know it's kind of weird uh, but I'm going to take these last two out and see where we're at okay so because of my lack of knowledge <laughs> and I should have known this because now that I look at it I've seen these before but these see three screws I was all happy to get these out but I'm going to have to put them back in because um, that is all part of the through hole. And when I tried to turn the valve up there to get it off, uh, the whole thing is spinning here. So <laughs> i got to get those back in there and hold that thing in position so I could try to get the valve off the top. Because I wouldn't mind trying to save this thing if I can. So now that I'm looking at boats around, um, I'm seeing that they all, all they have is that strainer on there. They don't have that extra piece. Um, you see a boat over here, doesn't have it. That boat right there, it's all torn apart, doesn't have it. You know, every single, not a single one, except for, well, this boat, this boat has one. Um, has that piece. I'll come over and just look at it quickly. This boat has, has that extra strainer on it. There it is there. But, this one doesn't. It's just got that one piece right here. So, I don't know. And I've looked at a bunch of other ones. Most of them don't have it. So, I may not need that, but I'm going to probably keep it because it probably does something. <laughs> Keeps a little bit of extra seaweed out of there, probably. All right, guys. Well, it's the next morning. And as you can see, the valves are still on. Both of them are. This is the port side one, actually. Um, I spent all day be coating this thing with PV Blaster and trying it, trying it. And I just let it soak overnight and just cleaned it up a little. And um, I tried bringing over my breaker bar. This is really thick tubing. 
and just nudging it and it didn't budge and I don't want to start ripping fiberglass apart to get this thing off so I'm going to resort to tool number two um, sawzall I'm going to cut it right at the base of the valve so I won't be able to save the through holes but um, I was probably going to buy new ones anyways because um, I worry that the threads were screwed up from trying to take these valves off so that's what i'm going to do now That's how you do it quick. As you can see, the starboard side one is also off. Uh, that came off just as easy. Now I'm going to go below and um, just, I put some temporary screws in the bottom. Uh, those ones I took out back in just to hold it in position so it wouldn't move around. I'll take those out and then I think I can just manually unscrew it by hand and um, that'll be out. So no, I didn't turn this by hand. I, I can no way I was going to turn that. I ended up using a uh, pipe wrench, just grabbing it like right here and spinning it. But that's that was what was on there. All right, well, it took me about 20 minutes to get this off. I just put it back on just so you can see. I ended up having to use my oscillating saw and cutting, cutting this thing in half right here. Um, this part actually pried up pretty good. Um, I used my chisel here. This is an old chisel, and I just got it under this corner because this end seemed to not be attached too well. And then I went around with this smaller one and kind of chiseled around it until it kind of popped off. And um, so I got this end off, edge off, and you can see it's got a full layer of sealing on it, but it looks like it's only was sealed right in the center here. And then, um, and then I just worked on this piece, did the same thing, got this propped, oops, got this propped under the end here, and then just went around and finally popped that off. And this is where it looks like it was sealed, the rest of it wasn't really sealed. So, thankful that it wasn't sealed that good, because <laughs> it made it easier. Um, so now that it's like, like it was here, it was some 
remnants of fiberglass. You can see some strands here that are just just random strands. I kind of went over it with this chisel just to get those down. And that's about where I left it off now. So uh, now I'm just going to give it a scrub. I want to show you guys what it looked like. Just popped off. And um, oh yeah, now I'll give it a scrub. You can see kind of where the line was like. This is where it was kind of sealed right around in here. The rest of it, this wasn't even sealed here. So I'm glad I took that off. And um, now I can um, clean this up and then I'll do the other side. Okay, one more video for this. Um, this is after I gave it a good scrub. Still some areas that are going to get cleaner once I grind some of these areas like that off and down in there. It's kind of a lot of loose strands of fiberglass. But um, yeah, this is good initial cleaning. Now I can, uh, it's clean enough to me to start grinding stuff. Okay, so here's this area after it's been sanded. And I've just taken this video like a day before I'm actually uh, releasing the video. So you're really up to date. So that's where that area stands now. This is the starboard side, port side looks exactly the same. So here we are in the, what I call the cabin. Some people call it the saloon, but I don't. So anyways, if you followed along and you saw me installing this settee on the port side, you know that um, it got too cold. I couldn't do the tabbing in the back here. So I finally got that finished. So it's all tabbed in to the hull and um, came out really good. And um, now I can say that this entire side, port side inside the cabin, all the furnishings and walls and everything that's on this side is all tied into the hull and it's basically finished. You know, all I really have to do here is do some varnishing, but everything's installed. So and when I say that, I mean to get the boat in the water. Obviously the, the head isn't done yet. If you're following along, you know that. I won't even open that door because that's a disaster in there. <laughs> it's my storage for scrap wood. And that's kind of a disaster up there. But like I said, everything on this side is pretty much in. This side over here, um, I still have another settee to put in here. It's kind of an L-shaped one. This is just all junk. <laughs> and eventually there's going to be, I'm going to build a galley over here. That's going to be a fun project. I can't wait for that. But that's going to happen after the boat's in the water. So that's going to be a while. So that's the update on where I'm at right now. This is just an update. As you can see, it's already done. I don't need any advice on it, but I added some more plywood to the transom there. And I'm going to go over this probably in a future video. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm just showing you because it's done. Okay, so one of the things I have to deal with here, and I thought I was all done with this grinding and sanding, but as I started poking around here, at the rudder there and this is uh, where the uh, strut is for the prop shaft those little bolts holding it on I was uh, realizing that those kind of bolts or whatever sticking out of there are all kind of at weird different angles and I started poking around the fiberglass is pretty thin now because I ground it down but started poking around you can see all the Swiss cheese holes in it and what I was finding was just wet plywood in there actually wet. This boat's been out of the water for 11 years and out of the rain. I've had it covered and it's still wet plywood. So anyways, I have to replace that whole chunk of plywood there on both sides I'm going to do. I haven't checked the other side, but I'm just going to do them both anyways. So what I need to do is remove this whole rudder assembly. So if you have any advice, I'd appreciate it. I'm taking that off. Um, I watched a video on somebody doing the packing, so I kind of get an idea what's going on with that. But anyways, i got to drop the rudder and drop that. But more importantly, really, is the strut. Um, this, I don't want to screw up the alignment with the um, prop shaft. So, And I have to remove the propeller, which I've watched a few videos on that. So I kind of got an idea how to do that. but. There's a lot of different ways to do it, so if you have a good way to do it, you can share that too. So that's one of the things I have to deal with that I really have never done before. And um, if you have any advice or anything, um, pass it along. I'd appreciate it. Uh, here's the rudder, the prop, and the strut. 
and I have to remove. All right, well, that's just gonna about wrap up this video, but before I totally wrap it up, I have yet another video release announcement. Um, this video you just watched, I actually had the work done about three weeks ago and I could have put it together and um, got it out then, but I really haven't had the time to dedicate to editing videos and putting them out there. And um, I feel like the summer is gonna be very similar because I really wanna dedicate a lot more working time to the boat. Um, that's one thing I haven't done recently either. I've been doing other projects. So I'm gonna concentrate on working on the boat and filming what I'm doing, because you guys are basically caught up again. And um, just gathering footage and when things settle down in the fall and I have more time to dedicate to editing videos and getting them out, I'll start getting them out then. Um, I'm hoping also that I can get more um, back on a um, consistent release and not just saying, oh, I'm gonna do something when I finish it. So I'll have some backlog to work with and I can you know, space it out that way. So that's what I've decided to do. And um, I hope you're okay with that. And that's what's gonna happen. So enjoy your summer or your winter, whatever season you're in. And um, we'll see you in a few months. So take care and um, thanks for watching.